I'm Phil. I'm Deep. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery, where we blind taste three bottles pulled at random from our shelf. We will do some quick notes, we'll have a vote, and we will reveal one. And because we revealed Glenn Talkers last week, we have an empty bottle that needs filling. And we do it with our whiskey roulette. <laughs> Oh, it is. Oh, great! Ooh. Ben Nevis 10, batch one. Yes. Oh, and another, great. Hang on, let me clear the table. This sharing bottle is Glendala 13 year old Mizanura finish. Oh, Irish whiskey. What, what's this one? That, oh, well, it's the Ben Nevis 10, obviously. So that'll be going in. Ben Nevis 10. Can you remember where we got the Ben Nevis tent? Scotland. Yeah, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And uh, it was at the first day. Yeah, what was the shop called? Royal, Royal Mile. Yes. Oh yeah, it says on here, Royal Mile. Now this is the 10 year old batch one. So it's actually 62.4%. Wow. $110 uh, approximately. Great, that'll be going in. Okay. Three whiskies. What do we have? We have the new one, Enjoyable Nothingness. <laughs> Herbal Honey Dust and Paint on the Firewood. I think these actually sort of go in ABV, mm. maybe, but also... I, I forgot, it's, it's a beat. Yeah, with it being peaty first. I think it's the X. So we're going to go Enjoyable Nothingness. Now, of course, we've done the normal thing where we taste these before we shoot. So we sort of know what's going on. Initially, I'm getting baked fruit, but it's like dusty baked fruit, maybe even a bit apple pie, a bit vanilla, but it's a little bit light grassy and hard candy as well. Oh, you taste it, I'll taste. I think it is uh, very, uh, very thin. Almost no flavors. Hmm. Oh, very, very nice. Finish. It's funny because it's very neutral, but it's also very enjoyable. But it has nothing in it. I mean, you did say though, sl slightly sort of a, sort of a perfumed syrup. And where I see we do there, but it's a prune, but I think it's a metallic. So there's two layers, kind of like sweet prunes, but a bit metallic underneath. And it's about heavy at the bottom, but at the top it's very light. Mm. But there is a fine heat which which is makes me think it's old, but at the same time, old but without much flavour. Oh, we forgot the funnel. <coughs> because it's got a bit of dustiness and pencil shavings. But it's sort of in right. Ooh, do you think it could be a blend? Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's the point. An old blend or something? It's a little <sighs> back at a bite. Now it's got me thinking. Anyway, right. Um, herbal honey dust. It's it's American of some description because <laughs> we get that I'm a nigger. we get that dry woodiness with the vanilla. I got a little bit of dark chocolate before, but I'm also getting this sort of dusty chocolate, but bubble gum on the nose. I get it, it's like uh, syrupy. Syrupy? It's about like thick. That, I mean, it puts a cinnamon dust over mm. it. It's initially sweet, but then it goes a bit tannic. Like tea. <laughs> it's stronger than this one. Mm. There's more going on. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of perfume rolled in again there. I uh, spice toffee. Spice toffee, yeah. Oh yeah, that sort of, I, I say bourbon and I'm like, I hope it's not right. But anyway, that, 
American character to me, which is that uh, rich toasted woodiness is coming up now in this empty uh, 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 so, uh, but it's Yeah, bitter herbs. A little soapy. A little bit licorice. But, nice. oh, finish. but it is good, isn't it? We have enjoyed it and there's some complexity in there. I'm mm, Licorice. Right. The last one is peated. It may also be the strongest. Like normally we would expect the bourbons to be stronger. I mean, unless it's a more budget one, which we're enjoying. Okay, paint on the firewood. It's peat. Yeah, lots of peat, but not super heavily peated, but I mean, medium to heavy. But there's this kind of malty apple thing going on. Maybe a bit white grape or a bit milky? It's smoky, peaty, but almost no flavors, but it's beautiful. <laughs> no flavors, but beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> I get initially sweet cereal, but very quickly the ashiness rushes in. Yeah, and then it sort of fades off. It's sort of. Now I'm getting a dust on my diet. Maybe. Throw maybe. It's sweet coming. Yeah. And it's sort of a bit like lemon ash. Like as if you obliterated lemons on the barbecue or something. And now uh, the finish is fit off. But very fine. Mmm. <laughs> At the bar, finish. Mm -hmm. I think I'm still here, although I think it might be quite young. Oh, you're there as well. The thing about this one is it's a bit too basic, isn't it? It's too thin. It's not even watery. It's very thin. It is a good one to start with, though. <laughs> and it's I... more like a warm up. <coughs> We're going to reveal it? Yes, this one. Yeah. Well, of course, we need to decide where we're going to put it on the shelf and things, but. There's not, there's not much ABV there. It's, it's pretty low ABV, isn't it? 43 or 40. But, um, but mm. you don't get that no flavor, but yeah. then when you go through, you start to shine. I think... It's very basic. Right. Dalwini 15. I'm getting that, um, I'm in that heck. I think it, but I'm not sure it. Yeah. Would you prefer Dalwini 15? Pretty similar, but maybe I may go for slightly the door that just because I am in dark finish but after that. Yeah, I think maybe slightly better, isn't it? It's right. Better. Would you prefer tomatin fifteen? I don't, I don't oh, like it either. That's got a bit of uh that's got a bit of Highland Park smoke about it. Oh. Mm. Mm. I prefer to any day. Initially. Let me go one more time. So hang on. We have currently got Dalwini here and Tomatin here. Mm. Must pop. No. Better. You're gonna swap all the way? I wasn't ready for that. I think then I would put, I would put this, oh, Glendron, I guess it's gonna go in here then, isn't it? Somewhere.
Oh, tastes better now. I think it's... But that's why I think of the name is so even... ABV, what do you think? I 43. think it's 43. <laughs> it's very light. It is 43. Age. Mm, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping it's young. It's a 10. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it costs, how much do you think? Um, it's that 50 dollar. Sixty-one dollars? Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. That means it had to score an 89. It is a space side. Uh, oh, I've had a thought now of what it might be. Uh, oh, Ben Rea, 10. It's, it's from the original 24. In fact, I think this bottle might be empty. Oh, bad delivery system. Empty bottle. Ben Rea 10 was from... Ah, I'm the creator of the number Yeah. But we paid $61 for it back in October 2018. Is it, I mean, we always have to ask the question, is it worth it at $61? I think... Well, I guess these are still in play, aren't they? I mean, it is very enjoyable. 61 though. Mm. Oh yeah, and I'm thinking Ardbeg Ugadal is I'm only a little bit more, isn't it? Another 20, you get all the way up here. So don't buy it. <laughs> so that's a no. No. Not at the price. No worth it. I think in honour of our original 24, I'm going to put it behind Glendronic 12. Cause we, if you want to. Cause we, no, because we made Glendronic 12 better back then. You know, I'm not even going to do a bottle battle. I'm just going to take off Calvalan. Um because we don't have any to taste, we don't have any Glenfiddich to taste. Old Forester, I think, is better than I remember. So, Cavalan Classic. I'm going to take off the shelf. Oh, I think I broke something. And um, we need a new bottle. Not this one, a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Above this one. Alright. Terrible writing. Oh, 